It's you. It's on your eye. So this, wait, oh, I blah, okay. <laughs> And welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And in today's video, we have a snack and food review. Yes. So, our favorite, yes, I know a lot of your <laughs> favorites too. We love these videos, but mm. we have some good stuff in front of us, and we're just gonna jump right in as always. So, if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. We try to find lower point options. We use WW Weight Watchers to track our food, and so we'll be giving you guys the points, calories, and macros of everything that we tried today. And I will try to remember throughout the video to tell you guys where we get each thing from. From. First thing we're starting with, I got this at Target. This is our drink for the day. So this is the Alani Juicy Peach Energy Drink. So we've tried a few of theirs and we usually like Alani's. Uh, it's just something we don't always like buy. Like sometimes if we're at Target, I'll grab a couple just because yeah. it's like part of a Target run, I feel like. But this is zero points on WW. It is 10 calories and it's got three carbs. And this has, I'm guessing, it's hard to read the thing. Oh yeah, 200 milligrams of caffeine. So it's got a lot of caffeine, like a normal energy drink. But I was thinking it was going to be orange. Yeah, I feel too. like I always just that, expect the wrong right? thing. Right? <laughs> this is what it looks like. And Juicy I've just heard a lot of good things about this one. A lot of people really, really like it. it so I'm great. excited to try this. But for zero points, we always like energy drink options. Definitely. Let's we'll see what we think. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. That's really good. It's not super carbonated either. Do they make like a peach Fanta or peach crush? I feel like mm, that's what it tastes like. They might have. I feel like I've had like a peach Fanta before. If, if they did, that's probably what it would taste like. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. It's really sweet, but it doesn't taste like any like fake sugar yeah. or anything like that. That is so refreshing. It's just like a summer drink too. Yes. And it's zero points. It is zero what points. What do you get? I'm going to give it a nine. I agree. Nine. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I think out of all the ones we've tried, because sometimes they have like that like sweet tart taste. Mm -hmm. This one is actually just like sweet. It doesn't have the tart. And it's like refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it really is. I like it. Like I said, I got that from Target. So... Let's go ahead and get started with some salty snacks. This one is so weird. I just want to start with it. Or yeah. should we end with no, it? No, let's start with it. Okay, so I found this at Mariano's. This was a super random thing. It just sounds so weird. So it is Papa's Skinless Popcorn Pops. This is sweet and salty flavored. I think they had one other flavor there. But the whole point of it, it's a unique version of a classic snack. So inside each kernel of popcorn is a tiny droplet of water surrounded by skin, which is also known as the hull. As the kernel is heated, the droplet of water turns into steam and that builds pressure inside the kernel. When the skin can no longer contain the pressure, pop. So that's how like a normal popcorn pops, but this they somehow, with their innovative popping process, they're able to remove the irritating skin to create a new and unique piece of skinless popcorn. So, so it just, weird. skinless popcorn sounds weird. It also just like looks pretty interesting. So that's what the bag looks like, but we're gonna go ahead and open it up. It is gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free. It's got clean ingredients, it says. It is for two cups, 140 calories, six grams of fat, 20 carbs. It's got seven grams of sugar and a gram of protein because this one is the sweet and salty. And it's six points for that serving of two cups. But what I was thinking about this is that it looks more like condensed. So I feel like it'll be like a bigger a serving, like two cups might be a lot, but wait, that's not what I expected. I thought it was gonna be way smaller. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought it was going to be like uh, the bottom of like the popcorn when you reach at the bottom and it's just like the little pieces, like yeah. the broken pieces of popcorn. This is way bigger than I expected. This almost looks like corn nuts or yeah, something. So this is just popcorn still. So it still has kind of like the shape of popcorn. My camera doesn't want to focus on it, but okay. I'm curious. I'm Six curious. points for two cups. Let's see. This might be like a new snack mix ingredient, yeah. but cheers. Cheers. What cereal is that? Corn puffs. Corn puffs. <laughs> Yes, so the corn puffs is just skinless. Popcorn. So is that what it is? Yeah. I think so. That's what it looks like. No, it does have a little bit more of like a popcorn flavor, almost like a burnt popcorn mm -hmm. flavor, but it's really good actually. That's probably my favorite flavor too, because of the sweet and salty. Because I love like kettle, and that's very very close to the kettle. It tastes identical to the corn puffs. Corn puffs. Is that what it is? Is that the cereal? What, the, yeah, it's like the yellow box. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the yellow pops. Corn pops. Corn pops. 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 <laughs> Pop, One of those cereal, things. whatever. Corn it is. puffs. Corn pops. Either Whatever. way, it's really good. And I could see us using it, yeah, more as like a snack yeah. ingredient, but 
Oh, that'll get my sweet fix in my snack mix. It is sweeter than I expected. Of course, it's sweet and salty, so that makes sense. But I was expecting just like plain popcorn. Mm -hmm. The other one might be like that, but what would you give it? I'm going to actually give that a nine. Wow. See, he was scared. He didn't even want to try this because well, you thought it was going to be... the name, Skinless Popcorn, is I know. terrifying. <laughs> So, it's terrifying. It sounds like a straight out like a horror movie. But I would go ahead and give this an eight and a half. I don't know. I, the thing is, I wasn't a huge fan of that cereal growing up. I've oh, never sad. really liked it. I and it. so that's kind of why I would like give it a little less. But this is actually, it's what really What other good. flavors are there? I don't remember. Oh, because I was going to say, if, if there's like a regular salty one, you probably, yeah. probably like that one better. I might grab the other one when I go to Mariano's next just to try it out. Because I like the consistency. I like everything about mm -hmm. it. And it's nice that, yeah, you don't get the annoying like kernels in your teeth. So... Cool. It's just a cool snack we wanted yeah. to try out, and I found it at Mariano's. Okay, the next thing that we're going to be trying is another Mighty Spark chicken stick. So I love these. The honey jalapeno is my favorite. We've tried the sweet potato and the black bean, and now I think this is the last flavor we have to try. So this is their cranberry and ginger. So I got these off of Amazon. It is two points for one stick. For one, it is 60 calories, one and a half grams of fat. It's got seven carbs, six grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. And I just love these. I love the brand. I love their different flavors that they have. And just like the texture and everything. I don't know. I feel like these are a good meat stick that we found that we really like. These ones look kind of dark. Yeah. And we've got, we've tried a lot. I feel like we've tried a different, a lot. We've had our fair share of meat sticks. Fair share of meat sticks. So, this is what it looks like. This one, like I said, looks a little bit darker. Nothing wants to focus today, I so I guess we're not doing that. But <laughs> they are gluten-free and soy-free and two points for one stick. Okay. This one smells this a little one. bit more like a different a like, meat stick. Like a jerky stick, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you can see that there's like a little chunk of cranberry. And what is it? Oh, cranberry and ginger. That's so, that's an interesting combo. It smells good. Cheers. Cheers. I also had to check to see that that was a chicken stick because it tastes like beef jerky. I think the ginger makes it taste, yeah, more like a beef type thing. Yeah. Those are amazing. Those are really good. I was very surprised. That is like maybe a tie with the jalapeno. with fruit. Really? Yes. Yeah, so like it almost has like that soy sauce flavor because it's ginger, like that like see, you Asian like, type flavor. Yeah. So you like the sweet with like the spicy-ish. It is sweet though. It does have a sweet, yeah. That's good. I really like it. I think the honey jalapeno is still my favorite, but that's definitely number two. No, yeah. Honey jalapeno is still my favorite, but this is like, like yeah. if I, okay, this is a nine and a half then. This is 9.5. Honey jalapeno is a 10, but this is really good. I feel like I'm going to keep eating these and liking them more. Yeah. I agree. Nine and a half for that one. It's sweet though. It's, it's a lot. It's sweet. Yeah. Like you get the cranberry in there but that, and the ginger subtle because I'm not a huge fan of ginger, but that ginger is like perfectly subtle. Yeah. You don't really taste the ginger till after. Yeah. I feel like it's like sweet cranberry and then yeah, it changes, but yeah. Also, when I smelled it, I thought it was going to be like over the top, like too much, and it tasted a lot, but mm -hmm. it was good. That is a flavor I would definitely order again. So definitely the cranberry ginger and the honey jalapeno are yes. my two favorite of the Mighty Sparks. I still haven't tried the salt and pepper, which I, or we've, maybe we've tried it, but I don't know. A lot of people tell me that one's really good too. That'd so good. maybe that'll be next one, but I really like that. And I just ordered these off Amazon. It's a 12 pack like this. Okay. So the next thing that we're trying is another chicken stick, I guess, kind of. <laughs> But these are the Johnsonville Chicken Jalapeno Cheddar Sausages. So this is actually a new product. It says new on it. And this is something we buy these all the time, but the turkey version. So it's actually turkey cheddar. Yeah. It's not, it has no jalapeno. Mm. This one might have a little bit more of a kick to it. But that is what I use when I like to make like the two ingredient dough hot dog bagel bite things. And it is one of our favorite meals. Yes. So this might be really good as an option for that as well. And it's also one point less than the turkey one. So for one link, it's three points on WW. It's 100 calories, six grams of fat. It's got two carbs and nine grams of protein. And I feel like they're like about the same size. I just mm -hmm. threw them in the microwave. Usually we would like grill them up or cook them on the stove or something. But for this, I just went ahead and heated them up. And we're just having them on a plain hot dog bun because that's what we had in the fridge. Yeah. This is how we would eat it, I guess, sometimes. If we didn't we have two ingredient dough, yes. Yeah, so... Also, this could be something that we cut up and put on a pizza bake or pita or something or, or pasta or bowl. You can use everything for everything. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and try this. It is three points for the link. Cheers. Cheers. Are you finishing yours? Those were delicious. I want to try those <laughs> two, two ingredients. Oh my gosh, they're going to be so good. Like and they taste actually a lot different than the turkey ones. And they have, they actually have like a good jalapeno flavor, but not a lot of spice. Yeah, there's no spice. No. I don't really taste the That's, spice. They're definitely coming from me. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> she say that. 
I forgot to mention, I got these from Mariano's, but they are just the Johnsonville brand. I'm honestly hoping that we see more of these. Like, sometimes I can find the turkey cheddar ones just like in Walmart or Woodman's. And so I'm hoping these pop up. But if you guys see these, I highly recommend them. I would grab them. Three points is not bad. I think that's going to be so good in a pasta. I'm going to make a pasta. Like, a, even like a Cajun cheesy pasta or like a... Mm -hmm. Three points for a link is not bad for a chicken sausage. It also, like I said, has nine grams of protein. So, what are you going to give it? Nine and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna say nine and a half. I don't know, full ten. I don't, I don't think it's know. like anything crazy. Yeah, the like the flavor is just amazing. That's why I'm going nine. Like nine and a half is when it's like really, really good, but it's like not. Do you like those better or the turkey cheddar ones? I like these better. Really? Yes. Yeah, I think the jalapeno. Oh, I really like the turkey cheddar ones though. I know, I'd have to try I, them both side by side. Yeah, because I love the jalapeno flavor. That's I love. Yeah. It. Especially with cheddar, like jalapeno cheddar together. But the turkey so one, good. I feel like, has more of a smoky flavor. It does. Ah, we have to try them side by side now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we gotta do. We gotta do a video of trying two things that are like each other yeah. side by side and then pick the better one. It's nice that it's a point less than the turkey one. Okay. Then the next salty ish thing we're trying <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, this made a mess though. So I don't know how the oil somehow leaked out. But this is the Trader Joe's Crunchy Chili Onion Hummus. And. Honestly, I don't know if this is a newer product or if it's been there and we just haven't seen it, but we like the crunchy chili stuff and we like hummus. And mm -hmm. so I'm really excited to mix this up and try it out. I'm going to go ahead and like mix it really well because as you can see, there's like a lot of topping in there. For two tablespoons, it's 80 calories, four and a half grams of fat. It's got four carbs and two grams of protein. And that serving for two tablespoons is two points, which is pretty normal for hummus. Usually any hummus we get is between one and two points. Oh, this one is greasy. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely has a lot of like the oil from the chili crunch in it And we're just gonna be trying this with plain pretzels like we normally do so I think it's mixed pretty well. It smells yeah. really good. Oh, sorry <laughs> That's cool <laughs> It does smell really good though Okay, so it definitely like really mixes in so it's not anything crazy on this but let's see what we think Cheers, Cheers. I'm getting a lot of hummus not, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting a lot of other flavoring. I don't know if it's because I mixed it in. But I feel like that would help it. Yeah. Or then, because of a lot of the oil leak. Yeah, but I, I think it's like the crunchies in the middle. I kind of agree that it is like, you really just taste like the hummus and there's like a little bit of a kick in it. it tastes good though. Like it doesn't taste bad. It is really good. Yeah. It's just kind of basic. I feel like this is something we would definitely use for bowls or... Wraps. Wraps or just like a snack with pretzels, honestly. Yeah. This would be a really good one for a snack plate. Try it so. myself. Yeah, even like a big spoonful. It it's pretty good. much just tastes like plain hummus. Yeah. It's good though. Okay, wait, that one had a little bit more of a kick though. Really? The bite I just had. I would bump it down to like an eight just because it is two points for two tablespoons and it doesn't have anything like crazy with the flavor. There's other hummuses that we get that are like two or three points and it's like worth it to just mm. have the extra points. So this one is like, eh. I would agree. I'm gonna go with eight. I like hummus and it tastes like good hummus, so I'm definitely gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next time we'll try dipping from the middle, but. Yeah. Okay, the last salty thing we're trying, we've tried a different flavor of these before and we really like them. We're actually gonna go back and buy more because we haven't done that yet. But it is from the brand Veggies Made Great, which we really like a lot of their like the breakfast muffins that they have. And so these are their stuffed cauliflower bites. This is a new item that they have. We originally got these at Woodman's and I haven't really seen them anywhere else, but usually we can find their products at like Walmart. So hopefully again, a new product that pops up. These are gluten-free, they are Roasted vegetable and four cheese blend. So it's crispy cauliflower crust stuffed bites with an authentic Italian blend of roasted tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, and zucchini with a creamy four cheese blend. And this one actually says spice level is medium. Oh, so I think the other ones there wasn't a spice level. I don't think there was. So it's my total little kick to it. But yeah. the bag came with like 10 bites, I want to say. So this is what the bites look like. I accidentally exploded it in the air fryer because I cooked it for a minute too long. But... <laughs> Uh, they have filling in them like that, so I'm just gonna rip it open now and then try not to lick my fingers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you better not. Oh, oh, they smell really good. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're just gonna taste like pizza puffs. Right. But for five bites, it's 170 calories, six grams of fat, 26 carbs, three grams of fiber, four grams of sugar, and six grams of protein. And it's five points. So pretty much each bite is a point, which yeah. honestly, I think it has like a good amount of filling. And I think that- That'd be good for an appetizer. They look right? good, yeah. And we like to do appetizer nights. This would be something that we would Probably include. Cheers. Cheers. What? What was that face? It was just like so much tomato and zucchini. It was really good. What was the other flavor we tried? Mushroom. It was like portobello mushroom. Oh, I think I like the mushroom ones better. Really? I think I like these better. 
These have good flavor. Mm. They kind of taste like a healthier pizza puff. They taste they exactly do. like pizza puff. <laughs> they do. Like, a, like if you just got like the vegetable pizza puff filling. Yeah. It's very similar. It's very tomatoey, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's what, really good. That's what I like about it is that it's like tomatoey. I'm not getting a kick. Did you get a kick? Mm -mm. Okay. You don't really, like, there's like an aftertaste of cauliflower, but you don't really like taste it as you're eating it. I feel like it's not that like overwhelming of cauliflower, but. Yeah. I think that that's a good option for us. I think I like the mushroom ones better, but really? we can get both of them, and it would be like a good option for us to have for appetizer Definitely. nights. Like I said, they're gluten free, just a way to get some veggies and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> I like them. What do you give them? I don't remember what I gave the mushroom ones, so I'm. With <laughs> I my, don't either. With, with my luck, I rated them higher. I'm gonna give those a nine. I would say I would give these a nine. I can agree with that. I don't know what I said for the mushroom ones. Yeah, this was just point five less so of what I said for the mushroom. Ones. Okay. All right. Cool. So that wraps it up for salty. Let's move on to some sweet things. So let's just go ahead and do this one first. This was Adam's choice. He really Why wanted to. Why are you going to say it like that? Because they'll see in a second. But okay. we have tried a few different Mr. Beast products. If you guys don't know who Mr. Beast is, he's a YouTuber. He does a bunch of like giveaways and crazy random stuff. But we watch his videos. And so we've been seeing all his different products. These are his Feastable candy bars, which usually his cookies are gluten-free. I don't think there's anything like, it says grass-fed milk, but I don't think there's anything like super healthy or special about this. Adam just so. wanted to try it because Even it's these nuts. <laughs> so It caught my eye in the store, okay? Yeah, it's great so, marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this out. For the serving of a half a bar, it is 10 points. Yeah, so, so it's not. Definitely a higher point option, but we just thought it'd be fun to try. It's 180 calories for that serving, 12 grams of fat, 14 carbs, 12 grams of sugar, and 3 grams of protein. And let's see what we think. So, this could always be like a creamy mix in if we really want it or something like that. The top part where the line is says share, and then down there says devour. It's got like a little thin layer of peanuts, but. This is a higher point option, so hopefully it's really good. good. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. It's good. It's good. But it just tastes like chocolate. It just tastes like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing, yeah, nothing too crazy, but. I you don't happy know. we got to try these nuts? Yeah, we got to try these nuts. Let's go. That's the only reason we really tried it. But. Yep, it's great marketing, very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just a normal chocolate bar. You can get them at Walmart. It's high point. I'm gonna give it an eight because it's high point. It's good chocolate. It tastes good, so I'm gonna go with eight. I would say just seven and a half because it is higher point. It's just like a basic chocolate. I guess it doesn't really go with all the stuff we always try, but it was no. just a fun thing to yeah, try. So. Know. Definitely higher point. I think there's better lower point options. Yeah, definitely. Okay, next up we have the two other flavors of the Bloom Protein Bars that we haven't tried yet. So it comes with the variety pack. We tried the raspberry cheesecake and the peanut butter. Peanut butter. And now today we're trying the cookies and cream and the blueberry crumble. So we were honestly a little bit disappointed with the other two that we tried. We're going to give these a fair chance and see what we think of them. The biggest thing is that they are kind of small for six points. Both of these bars are six points on WW. And I feel like we said they had just like a weird little like protein flavor to them. They just weren't, they weren't Bear Bells. That's pretty no. much what it is. Yep. <laughs> anyway though, okay, for the cookies and cream, it's 190 calories for the bar, seven grams of fat. It's got 18 carbs, three grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. So 15 grams of protein is good. And like I said, it's three points. This one looks a little melty. They do have some stuff, but like, yeah, this is a pretty small bar, I feel like, compared to... I don't know. I feel like a bear bell is not much, much bigger, but... No, I think that's... I think just a little bit. Yeah. We're saving blueberry for last, because yeah, I'm definitely. hoping I like that one the most. Definitely. But it's got the little drizzle on it, and some cookie pieces, and let's see what we think. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like that has kind of a weird collagen taste, yeah. too. Yeah. I, yeah, I think I said this last time. The initial taste is good, and then it, like... I it disagree with this one. I think right away it was like collagen really? tasting. Really? I got a lot of like the, maybe I just got a lot of the frosting. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the blueberry really quick and then we'll rate them. Cheers. Cheers. That one by far is my favorite. Same. I agree. Out of all four flavors, because they do sell variety boxes and then they sell the individual. I might rebuy the blueberry one, but I don't think I'd buy the other three. Why not? I think, well, I can, honestly, I can't remember the raspberry. I think the peanut butter one wasn't that bad. The raspberry, yeah, the raspberry. was a little bit more like the cookies and cream where it's like that collagen protein yeah. flavor. The blueberry is like a very fake blueberry taste. Like, it's like they like, it almost has like that kind of candle taste to it. It's almost like the legendary, those pop, yes. like pop tart things yes. you tried. Yes. Those. Yeah, blueberry, honestly, I'd give the blueberry an eight. I'd give the cookies and cream like a six and a half. I'm going to go blueberry eight and a half. Cookies and cream, I'm going to go seven. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think out of all of them, I'd buy the blueberry again. Just the blueberry box, not the variety. I'd agree. But for 15 grams of protein and for six points, this isn't bad. Yeah. I could almost see like eating that as like a dessert or just like a quick breakfast before the gym or something. It does taste like breakfast. It really does. <laughs> like it has a good blueberry flavor to it. Yeah. I'm disappointed in the cookies and cream. I think that's my least favorite out of the four of them. I can't. I just can't remember the other two. I think the raspberry is my least favorite out of the four. Yeah. Which I was like most excited for that and the blueberry. So. Yeah. At least the blueberry was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next up, we have a new Three Wishes cereal, which I don't think this is actually new. I think this one has been around for a little bit. Adam found this at Fresh Time. It is their marshmallow flavored Three Wishes cereal. So. It is more protein, less sugar, and gluten-free. For the serving of a cup, it's 130 calories, 2 grams of fat, 20 carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugar, and 8 grams of protein. And it's 3 points for that serving. So 3 points for a cup is not bad at all. I like that the cup is their serving size because that's how much I use when I do like a bowl of cereal. Which I was just telling Adam, I've just been like craving bowls of cereal more lately. It's especially because of the Three Wishes, their cinnamon bun cereal that I really yes. like. But this is the marshmallow flavor. We're going to go ahead and try this out. So I do like to have cereal and cashew milk, but also it's another ingredient that we like to just kind of like snack on dry if we add it to like a snack mix or something. Yeah. Or sometimes I just like snack on it. Three points for a cup is not bad. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Cheers. If anything, it's almost like birthday cake. It's a, it's sweet. It's really good. It, it tastes like marshmallow. You know what it tastes like? Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. <laughs> I think that's the whole point of it. I hope so, because that's exactly what it tastes like. It really does. It tastes like they just like coated it in Lucky Charms. It doesn't smell as good as it tastes, but I think I would like that in a snack mix and just in like a bowl oh, yeah. of cashew milk. That's really good. I like that flavor. Out of the other flavors we've tried too, because we've had like their honey, regular cinnamon, uh, fruit, the fruity one, the chocolate mm -hmm. one. Chocolate one's good too. Yeah. Really, we like all their products, but... I think this is number two behind Cinnamon Bun. I was going to say, I'm going to try it in milk, but I think this might be number two for Cinnamon Bun because it does taste like Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. It really does. What do you give it? So we give Cinnamon Bun a 10 because mm -hmm. it's only one point. I'm giving this one nine and a half because the flavoring is amazing. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine because even for a cup for three points, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not. Sweet. Okay. I'm pleasantly surprised with that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, the last sweet thing we're trying today, we've been like sitting watching these because <laughs> I got them a couple weeks ago and we wanted to kind of space out the Drizzlicious because we just tried the birthday cake flavor, but I also got the s'mores flavor for us to try. I got the mini bags like this, so that's just how I bought them off of Amazon. I think it was like either a 12 or 24 pack, I'm not sure, but for one bag, it is 90 calories. It's three grams of fat, 15 carbs, four grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And one pack is four points. So let's see how many are in here. And Seems like there's actually a decent serving. I've actually seen the big bags of this and the birthday cake at Walmart. True, yes. They recently started carrying yeah. those, yeah. So first of all, I think decent portion yeah, for, for four, four points. Oops. Oh. <gasps> Oops. Oh, it went in my drink. Sour drink. Ooh. Too exciting. Okay, so four points for this whole bag, which I kind of like them in the individual bag yeah. because with the birthday cake, I just kept eating them. It's dangerous. But cheers. Cheers. I'm not getting like an overwhelming s'mores flavor. The chocolate's good, and then there's like a little something extra that makes it like kind of s'mores, but it's not like yeah. overwhelming I think s'mores. It's whatever the rice cake is, like that's the flavoring you're getting. Something almost tastes kind of like buttery, but in a good way. Yes. I agree. I think, me personally, I like the birthday cake ones better just because I love everything birthday cake and those are really sweet and really good. I really like these though too. Yeah. I don't remember what we rated the birthday cake, but I would go ahead and give these a nine. I'm gonna agree with a nine and I like the birthday cake better too. I think there's a little bit more flavoring there. Mm -hmm. These are still really good. And four points, four points isn't bad. I feel like it's kind of high point, but that's not bad. That's for a good like dessert. A it's a very good dessert too. Yeah, Like that'd true. be a really good dessert. Yeah, okay. Well, that wraps up everything for today. Again, we tried some good stuff. Yeah. What was your favorite salty? I think we're going to agree on this. We've been agreeing a lot lately. But yeah, I, I also say. really, really like these cranberry. So but like I would almost say this is like a sweet. I mean, I guess, whatever. <laughs> so we like our meat sticks. Yeah. So this was from Mariano's. This was from Amazon. And I've also seen the, I've never seen the cranberry ginger in store, but I've seen a couple other flavors. That's how I found the honey jalapeno. Then moving on to sweet. Yep. I think we would go ahead and say the yep. cereal. <laughs> it's like the fourth straight snack I think we've had yeah. the favorite. Same and thing. then I would say these are really good. Yeah. And the blueberry bar, bloom bar wasn't terrible, but I just am kind of disappointed with those. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that wraps up our snack and food review for today. <laughs> I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and we will see you next time.